Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center demo, Reserving Compute Resources. First, we will provide a brief overview of what it means to reserve resources within the vCloud Automation Center. Then we will demonstrate reserving virtual, physical, and cloud resources through reservation management. The vCloud Automation Center has three primary policies used to implement user-centric, business-aware cloud management. The first is business groups. The vCloud Automation Center allows administrators to define a multi-level grouping structure and associate users from Active Directory with one or more groups and have specific role-based access within those groups. Second, we have resource reservations. Reservations allow administrators to allocate previously discovered virtual, physical, or cloud resources to each group. As part of assigning resources to a group, you can associate costs to those physical resources. Resource reservations can be grouped by service level as part of the reservation process. When users request machines, they will be charged based on a prorated consumption of these resources. And the third policy is service blueprints. Blueprints define the policies that will control the provisioning and ongoing management of a vCloud Automation Center compute service from the initial request, provisioning, ongoing management, and decommissioning. This lifecycle management can be unique for every blueprint defined in the system. This demo will focus on the second policy which involves reserving compute resources for the different business groups. Each reservation will define what parameters will be allocated to the group, including CPU, memory, storage, and networks. Reservations will vary slightly depending on the platform the compute resource was discovered on. For example, virtual reservations will vary from physical and cloud reservations. Each reservation will inherit the cost of the compute resource, and as resources are deployed, the cost will be assigned to that request. Reservations also allow administrators to specify service tiers. These tiers then can be mapped to the appropriate applications through blueprint management. Let's log on to the vCloud Automation Center as an enterprise administrator who is responsible for creating reservations for their groups. In our previous demo on creating business groups, we created a field training provisioning group. Let's build on this and reserve compute resources for this new group. We will walk through the process of reserving virtual, physical, and cloud resources through reservation management. To create new reservations, go to the Enterprise Administrator tab and select Reservations. From the Reservations page, go to New Reservations. As you can see, we can now select between cloud, physical, and virtual. Let's start by creating a virtual reservation. The first thing we need to do is select the pre-discovered compute resource that we will reserve for our group. Let's select the vSphere cluster. The reservation name will pre-populate. Next, let's assign this to our field training group. The reservation policy will be used to enforce placement, so let's assign this to our vSphere policy. Note, very often reservation policies are used to enforce service tiers like platinum, gold, and bronze. Let's give this a priority of one and then move to the second tab. Under the resource tab is where we specify the compute resources that we want to make available to our group. Note, compute resources can be assigned to multiple groups. So this is where you reserve the resources targeted for this group. All of the data captured below has been pre-discovered through a data collection through the endpoint. As you can see, we have discovered that 62 gigabytes is available. Now we already have 64 reserved for other reservations, but in this case, we're gonna allocate 32 uh, for this reservation. So we are actually over provisioning. Second is the storage. Again, we've discovered this data. We're gonna assign some storage to our training group. We're gonna go with the one that has 456 gigs free. We are gonna allocate 400 gigs for this group and we're going to give it the priority of one. Next we select the network or networks that we want to use. Let's go ahead and select uh, network one for this for our request. The third tab is the alerts tab. This is where we set settings to be alerted when thresholds are met based off of usage by our group. 
Uh, and we could set it based off of storage, memory, CPU, or machine quota. And we could have these notifications emailed to us. Let's go ahead and save our reservation. As you can see, our new virtual reservation is now available for the field training group. Now let's walk through a very similar process but create a physical reservation for our field training group. Physical reservations vary somewhat from virtual reservations. In the reservation information tab, we must name our reservation. So let's name ours field physical servers. The other fields are very similar where we assign the provisioning group and give it a reservation policy. I have pre-populated these for us. Under resources, rather than specify resource parameters, we will simply select the physical servers we wish to make available for our group. Let's go under add machine and we will select blade 2 and blade 5 for our group. Let's go ahead and select OK and save our physical reservation. Our physical reservation is now available for the field training group. We will go through this process one more time and now create a cloud reservation. For our cloud reservation, we must select a region that was made available to us by our enterprise administrator. In our case, that's the Amazon EC2 US East 1. The name field will be pre-populated. Under the resource tab, you will see the information is very specific to the Amazon service. First, we must choose our key pair policy. You can select from pre-existing key pairs or have one generated for you. We will use an auto-generated key pair for our field training group. Note that VPC capabilities are available through the vCloud Automation Center. Refer to the operations guide for more info on setting up your config for VPC. Next, we must select which locations in the East region we would want to utilize. I've selected all five locations. Each reservation must be assigned to a specific security group within Amazon. Let's choose our default group. Many applications require the need for load balancers. If load balancers are configured in Amazon, we can make these load balancers available to our groups. Let's save our cloud reservation. Okay, we have now created virtual, physical, and cloud reservations for our field training group. The next videos will demonstrate how to create single and multi-machine blueprints for our users. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was informative. To learn more about the vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.